Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Polaric coming at you with a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get better upload and download speeds, lower ping, and possibly fix your packet loss. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do if you do experience packet loss, then you're going to go want to go ahead and search reset. You're going to see network reset. Go ahead and click on it. You go ahead and click reset now. Um, what this will do is basically uninstall all your drivers, reinstall them, and they can completely reset your networking components and any traces of your old network that you had it'll basically flash it with new settings and it'll be like you just installed windows and they should be the safest settings possible and the most secure and stable but yeah guys if you don't need the pack loss go ahead and ignore that so now we're going to go ahead and start moving into opt optimizing our internet settings so the first thing we want to go ahead and do so you want to go ahead and type control panel in the bottom left go ahead and click network and internet go ahead and click the top networking and sharing center go ahead and click ethernet properties make sure you click yes go ahead and click configure this window is going to come up go ahead and click advanced and here you're going to see a list of options different settings that you can change tweak um, that your ethernet runs off of so what you want to go ahead and do is or that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to optimize these settings for gaming specifically. So what we're going to go ahead and do is ARP offload. You want to go ahead and disable that. EMCA, disable. Energy efficient, disable. Flow control, go ahead and disable that as well. Interrupt moderation, disable. IPv4, check some offload, go ahead and disable. And jumbo frame, go ahead and disable that. IPv4, check some offload. Um, we're going to want to go ahead and disable that as well. Gumbo frame, you're going to want to go ahead and disable. We're going to go ahead and skip these three offload settings. Then add um, max IRQ per second. This doesn't really matter, so you can go ahead and leave that there. Um, unless you know that does apply to you, and if it does, you will know. Um, maximum number of RSSQs. The way this works is you want to set this at 2 if you only have two cpu cores um, most gamers are going to have at least four or more and i'd be surprised if you only have two if you don't know how to check that what you can do is go ahead and click task manager go to performance and then go to your cpu it says how many cores you have so i have a quad core cpu so meaning i have four cores if you have four or more what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead oh let me get back to it all right, and then we're, we were at RSSQ. So if you have four cores or more, go ahead and set this to four RSSQs. If you only have two, go ahead and set this to two. All right, after that, what you want to go ahead and do, network address, make sure this set into not present. NS offload, make sure it's disabled. Uh, receive buffers, be safe. What you can do is set this to um, 1024. This is a safe setting. Uh, it's most likely safe for most PCs and you can always go back and reset this to what it was before if it's not working um, receive side scaling basically you want to enable this and then shut down wake up you don't really need so you can go ahead and disable um, speed and duplex so this is important um, these are the different settings you can have um, for your download speeds you want to set this to the highest setting possible and that says full duplex so for me it is 100 megabytes per second full du uh, full duplex go ahead and click that and then we can go ahead and skip w or swi and then for tcp check some offload what you want to do is go ahead and disable transmit buffers we're going to want to go ahead and set this to um 1204 Make sure you do have a stable RAM that you're not hitting your peak when you're playing Fortnite and able to change the setting. Um, after that, what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and skip the UDP checksum offloads. Um, we can go ahead and skip VLAN ID. And then we can go ahead and disable these last two settings. Um, but yeah, guys, that should be it to optimize the network adapter. You can go ahead and click OK. Should go ahead and save. You, you're going to disconnect and reconnect really quick just so it can reset its settings. After that, you can go ahead and close out of everything. All right, guys, so now that we've done that, the next thing we want to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and change our DNS settings to one of the most stable servers and fastest servers um, known to the public right now. Um, so what we're going to want to go ahead and do is go to control panel. 
go to network and internet, go to network and sharing. And we're gonna go ahead and click change adapter settings. Then you're gonna wanna find whichever one you use. So I use my uh, ethernet adapter. So you're gonna go ahead and right click it, properties. Where it says IPv4, go ahead and click properties. For the DNS server address, what you want to put is 1.1.1.1 and this is not a troll this is an actual ip address server or a dns server i'm sorry it, it is run by cloudfare one of the safest most secure and fastest dns servers known right now to the public and then for the alternate dns server in case the preferred doesn't work that you want to put one oh sorry guys here we go 1.1.1.2 and after that, you can go ahead and click OK, and then it should change it for you. All right, and after that, you can go ahead and close it, close that as well, and then that should go ahead and change your DNS server. All right, now that we have changed our DNS server, the next thing we want to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and clean our DNS cache for security purposes mostly, and just to speed up and create new connections that are optimized for that DNS server. So what you want to go ahead and do Let's go ahead and type uh, CMD, go ahead and click run as administrator, click yes. Then what we're going to type is go ahead and do ipconfig slash flush DNS. It should say it has successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. And then from there, you are good with your DNS servers. And then lastly, the thing you can do that will help you the most is go ahead and go to the link I'm putting in the description. It's going to be the TCP optimizer um, on the speedguide.net. From here, what you do is go ahead and download it. Once you go ahead and download it, go ahead and open it. Once you open it, um, I'm going to show you how to import a file that I have used and that I have made um, that is optimized for gaming. And that does give you lower ping in most games. Um, so what you want to go ahead and do is you can go ahead and close that make sure you open it as an administrator and then if you didn't or if you don't know for sure go ahead and close it then you can go ahead go ahead and type tcp optimizer click run as administrator yes and it's gonna load from here make sure you slide this bar all the way to the right make sure you're on the right network adapter and click make sure you click modify all network adapters and then from here you want to click import and then you're gonna click the export. Go ahead and open it. And then go ahead and click apply changes and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and restart your PC. Um, make sure when you click apply changes, you do click backup in case you wanna to go to your old settings. And then you can go ahead and click okay. Since I've already done it, I'm not gonna do it. But after you have done that, you can go ahead and restart your PC. And then after that, you guys should have lower ping, fixed packet loss. And then just faster all uh, mostly faster internet speeds uh, and then it should help your up and down if you haven't changed that duplex setting like we did in the ethernet but yeah guys that's pretty much been it for the video i appreciate everyone watching it's been real and if you guys don't mind go ahead and use code polaric in the fortnite item shop and make sure you guys do leave a sub a like a comment if you guys want to see more videos that do help your fps and your internet i appreciate everyone i love you all peace